出国那个什么中午农村起码。大金安路中间八八个摊，巴拉图木克哈坡中间木克要 constituency， 个巴达基普斯南肯提，班达诺达克坦布列内普利斯 outpost， 哈什农巴拉图，那班达班万拉伊个中心上安，那个达乌个吉亚詹巴达哈坡阿桑。Bat bantai la kami ke kamp sini, kita bunjuk kalau orang long hak sini nengkong. Dah kajing penmenapat bah jom menteri rang bah jom kajen la u Conrad ke sangma. U Conrad uli tu ya kene hak kajing yang long pat bah balapan long dah ke NPP West Jan Hills District. Hamadan kemud wasan muka yau hak kalau sini ublay mentah katayo. Uli tu baka sorkar hak kajing yang long jom ka kalau sim kaya ya kaya kajen jom kita pat bah. Bat kala rai ban bu no ya kak tempulen ni polis outpost ha barato. Bat ha po si benai AA on sa bu mau nong rem. U laban rap baha katay ga juk kas ni kin bu ru yu mau nong rem ban te no ya ka faya an emergency service station ni ka opis jong katanat pen lep ding hash nong raliang. U konrad u lapan bena balamang ban shna ya ki surong ha po mo ka yao bat shen on sa sdang no ya ka jing tray. Bat ya kini ke skim lapan wonder da ka jing tray si tam ukar tong ke NPP. Bat layo jing tem balamang lai kelur tingka ban shna ya ki surok ha po mo ka yao. In the meantime, I want to tell you that I have already taken a decision and the file is being put up in the planning department as I speak. My Gilbert has just mentioned that there is a lot of crime and a lot of problem in the Boroto area. I am happy to inform you that we have agreed to put up a police outpost in Boroto area and this will be cleared by the planning department, by the chief minister's office within the next one week's time. And I am very hopeful that the next few weeks time or maximum a month's time we will come again go to Baroto area and we will lay the foundation stone for the police outpost out there and we will start the work for the police outpost because I know the kind of difficulty that the people of this area have been facing and I assure you that we will take up this particular case <laughs> Apart from the Boroto outpost in Radiang, we have also approved the setting up of the fire station. And this also, while we come to lay the foundation stone for the Boroto outpost, we will lay the foundation for the outpost for the forest service also. Not for the um, uh, fire service also. Road connectivity has been a major issue in this area. As you are aware, as soon as we took over the government, a very important road for the Pasi Garampani road of almost 28 kilometers was taken up under a budget amount of 65 crores. And in the last many years, two, three years, the work of this road also has been completed. And this has been possible only because of this NPP-led government that is leading the state in the government of Meghalaya. The Raliang Shashiang Road has been put on priority in the PMGSY list. And we have put up the proposal to the government of India to sanction it. I expect that this particular road of Raliang Shashiang Road under PMGSY will also be sanctioned in a very, very short period from now and we should be able to see the work also for this road start very soon. Many, many PMGSY roads have been constructed all over the constituency. I want to tell you, when we had taken over this government in 2018, Meghalaya government was almost in a blacklisted group as one of the few states who were not implementing PMGSY properly. And hence, government of India had almost stopped sanctioning new projects and releasing additional funds because the implementation of PMGSY was not up to the mark when we took over. But after this NPP government came in, in the last four and a half years, 
We have worked tirelessly to ensure that the PMGSY roads are constructed throughout the district, throughout the state. And today I am happy and proud to inform you that in the last five years, we have constructed five times more PMGSY roads than have been constructed in the last 15 years before our government came in. U Menri Rangba Uleto Babun Kiseng San Himasima, Gilakanto Yakasorkar MDE, Hadian Bashakang Kajing Shalan Maushun Sha Bangladesh, Na Megalia Daka Haiko Jonka Jella. Henry Uklem Shong Klikti, Bad Ula Le Yakando Yaki He Katanat Commerce Batanat Mining Shadelhi Bunsin, Bad Menta La Sha Biang Banchalan Maushun Sha Bangladesh. We had a major issue of limestone export. And this has been an issue. That was come out because the court and the high court had banned it. And many political parties had made a big issue out of this, saying that this limestone has been banned by this MPP government. But let me tell you, this was a court decision. But in spite of that, as soon as this order came out, I have been meeting everybody in Delhi, all the concerned ministers, to allow the export of limestone to Bangladesh. And I'm happy to tell you that after multiple meetings with the Mining Ministry of Government of India, with the Commerce Ministry of Government of India, today Government of India has allowed the export of limestone to Bangladesh and today our exporters and our miners are able to get back that livelihood because of the hard work that has been put in by this NPP led government. I was very happy and pleased to see our women folk today perform the beautiful dance that they did. But apart from the beautiful dance that they have done for us, I am happier and more happier to see the amount, the amount of work and the economic activity going on by our women folk today in the state. U Conrad Ubalong U National President K N P P U Lapan Bena Pat Ba Yo Ba Haba Hundakar U Balong U M D C Jonka Saphai Constituency Kum U Kartong Bapura Jonka Seng Nakasau Mukayao Constituency U Layatu Shu Shu Baka Jinkren Ban I T K Yo Bat Kar Na Mukayao Constituency Kalalong Hadin Ba Ula Job Yaki Election M D C Bat Ka Jinkren Kabalais Nam Lenter Kala Urlong No Hakanikasni For a very, very long time Baba Hundakar has been somebody who has always communicated with me, called me, and he's always expressed his desire to always contest from this constituency. And way back after the MDC election had taken place, we even had a meeting where he had expressed the desire to contest in the election. So as a friend, as a person who I know for a very long time, I was very, very inclined to do that. And that's the reason today we are here. And it is because of his intervention today that he has been pressing that the internal roads for Mukayo area have to be taken up. I had mentioned last time to him that I will definitely sanction it. And I'm happy to inform you that the internal roads for Mokayo area have been sanctioned and even the work for it will be allotted very very soon and the work also for it will start very soon. So friends, I wanted to just mention these two, three points. And as I said, as a political, we have been planning for elections of 2023 for a very very long time. And in fact, right after the MDC election, we had decided that we should contest the Mokayo constituency and the name of our MDC had been in the top of our list and he had shown interest in contesting for a long time. And that's why we are very happy today that after many, many years, three years of discussion and planning of uh, this entire election and for the party, that finally, officially, I'm here today to announce his candidature. And once again, I wish him the very best. And I ask the people of Mogao constituency to, uh, to put their faith in our candidature and to put the faith in our party and to be able to give us our MLA here. Last time we lost by just two, three hundred votes. This time I'm sure 
that we will be able to win this particular election with our candidature. So with these few words, once again, I thank you all. Keep luck, good luck.